Maynard's doing. Closing seconds of our opening round of this Bellator special feature fight in the welterweight division. Now There's some world-class judo. Full ground and pound now from Rick Hahn, looking to finish in the dying think, seconds I of the opening he's round. Hurt. He's definitely hurt. And it's there's over. the stoppage from the judo throw to the TKO. First round win for Rick Hahn. Wow. See if we can get it from another angle. It, it, you don't want to give a judo player your arm. Sorry. Bang. I think it was that first hammer fist. You see here Maynard is disoriented. He doesn't have his hands where they need to be. I think that first hammer fist hurt him, and those right hands finished him off. Heavy, heavy hands by Rick Hahn. Right hand by Newton. Newton thinks his experience gives him the sizable advantage in this fight. He's five years older than Bowden, but he has 14 more pro MMA fights. Man, that was a body slam straight out of pro wrestling. Get this kid in TNA. Oh, trying to rock up, lock up the rear naked under the chin. He's got it. He's oh, got that it is deep. Very tight. Now looking to finish is Emmanuel got Newton. It. There's the tap. And just like that, Emmanuel Newton is through to the semifinals. And he, Roy Bouton made a mistake. That leaves a lot of vulnerabilities. Caught him coming in. Might have been a little bit dazed, and that's how he was able to get his arm underneath the chin for this rear naked. You see it here. It is deep, then sinks. Only has one hook. But this is all power, has it under the chin, and does not let it go. This is figure with the guys that Archie has been training with, guys like Justin Gaethje, Kamaru Usman, Grant Neal, Brandon Gertz. He's got a lot of experience in these positions, and he's had guys talking about what works best. Absolutely, I mean. Some high level training. I think there was a right now. Right now, what Ben Simmons is looking for, he's looking for a buggy choke. This is a choke from. There was pressure on that choke. And now there's pressure on the face of Simons. Ground and pound. Colgan making Simons a bloody mess. Beautiful positioning right there. Simons is in real trouble here. Archie Colgan crushes Ben Simons' dreams and Simons. Bellator MMA debut. When we talk to people all the time about what makes MMA violent, this being picked up and dropped oh. down. That was a huge slam. Look at how the legs come out, the arm lets go of it. He's in trouble right there. That hurt. And then huge elbows by Archie. This just was beautiful work by him. After that display, maybe it should be Hulk Colkin. This guy's a force. Garden starts to starts to cut that angle. You've got to create problems for Glenko. If you stay in the closed guard, you like what you're doing. There you go. There she goes, looking for the armbar. That armbar, that's a good attempt right now. Oh, and there's a power. Oh, what a slam by Glenko. She's a great she hit. Hurt her. She hurt her and stopped her. Arlene Glenko. With a come from behind victory. Well, maybe not. You had it even after the first two rounds. So I did. a dramatic win, nevertheless, for Arlene Blanco slamming her way to victory. Showing just a little bit of strength. Boom! Picks up a 100, 160 to 65 pound woman, drops her down. You can see that when she hits, Lybrock is hurt. Her head hits the canvas. It probably knocked her a little bit. That position right here is telling you I cannot continue with what's going on. That's why Herb Dean stops it. Beautiful, beautiful defense and escape by Arlene Blanco. Oh, that's one way to use your height. Oh my goodness. Big shot. Looking to finish it right here. Kimball needs to be smart here. Then's looking for an arm lock. Absolutely. He's looking to stretch out one of those long arms. He might have this. Can he get it? Hands all over. 20-year-old Michael Kimball. Victorious in his professional debut. Goli, check this out. First off, off the bat, wow. beautiful setup. But this, this also shows why we bring in the best referees. He knew what he was looking at. He lets the action continue here. Comes with the lead, comes over the top. Then goes down, Kimball comes on top. Now here's the armbar. There was some opportunity here. Then was doing everything right. He gets slammed, which allows Kimball to get free, and Kimball just starts what Mark Munoz would call the Donkey Kong punches. That forced the referee to step in and call 
the action. Our good buddy, the Filipino wrecking machine. Huge Donkey Kong, Mark Munoz, hammer fist, and what a moment for the 20-year-old.